All right, and an important development today, Union Health Dr. Harshwardhan said that the government is planning to establish a drug control department at the national level. He said this after inaugurating Arogya Expo uh, 2014 at Pragati Medan in the national capital. The expo has been organized uh, that will be based on themes like Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy themes of medicine. हमने ये तय किया है कि जहां आयुर्वेद की सुप्रीमेसी को रिसर्च के माध्यम से स्टैंडर्ड्स को एस्टैब्लिश करने के माध्यम से उस पर हम काम करेंगे उसके साथ देश में पहली बार हम लोग नेशनल लेवल पर जो आयुर्वेद के लिए एक्सक्लूसिव जो ड्रग कंट्रोल डिपार्टमेंट है उसकी स्थापना हम करने वाले हैं सारे देश भर में कंट्रोल के लिए ड्रग टेस्टिंग के लिए नई नई लेबॉरटरीज की स्थापना करना रिसर्च के प्रोडक्ट्स को रिसर्च के प्रोजेक्ट्स को हर तरह का प्रोत्साहन देना ऐसे अनेकों काम हैं जो हमारे को आने वाले समय में करने हैं Well, that was a major announcement today. And for that, we are joined uh, in the studio by Dr. Geetha Krishnan, who is, of course, the Secretary General of the World Ayurveda Congress. Uh, welcome to the show, sir. Thanks. First of all, sir, I would like to ask you this question. What does this mean, drug control department at the national level? I mean, we do have drug control systems in place. Uh, we have it for allopathy, I believe. So what does this exactly mean? Could you explain? Yes. The drug control department in India is being organized under a structure which is being uh, headed by allopathic uh, doctors or you know, allopathic uh, practitioners or pharmaceutical uh, you know, scientists. It's a very good structure, but uh, the unfortunate thing is that Ayurveda and systems like Ayurveda look at drugs in a very different manner. And Absolutely. then, then you know, try to uh, try to analyze that in a very totally different manner. Because for Ayurveda, there is Vada, Pitta, and Kabha, and we need to identify how that works in terms you of. You look guna, at the patient in a different patient manner. in a different manner. So, that is not being transferred in the in the kind of you know regulatory approaches which they take towards up, approving Ayurvedic drugs or new drugs or you know seeing whether it is required in a particular situation, current situation, whether it is safe, etc. There are a lot of things. We don't say that. When you say that you require a separate drug controller department, we are not saying that it should be it should be away it should keep away from the safety norms or it should keep away from the regulatory norms, the quality norms, etc. What we are saying is that understanding that drug is very different from the modern modern medical way. So, if we create a kind of a, a structure which can look at Ayurvedic drugs in the terms of Ayurveda, how Ayurveda describes it, or Yunani drugs in terms of Yunani describes it, or homeopathic drugs mm. in terms of their uh, mm -hmm. requirement, then the kind of possibilities that that particular system can do for bringing out new drugs actually exponentially increases. So, so that's very interesting. Uh, what are the challenges that you're facing now? Can you say that? I mean, you've talked about the kind of, uh, you know, a definition that perhaps allopathy has given yes, to a patient, yes, to yes. the way of treating a human being. Yes. And you're saying that either homeopathy, these are absolutely different ways of yes. treating a human being, yes. treating a disease. Now, you've said that there could be some problems, some challenges in trying to, of course, identify those and maybe perhaps give a recognition. You, yes. You're talking about a recognition. So, yes. can you talk about some, illustrate some problems that perhaps Ayurvedic practitioners face or homeopathic practitioner, practitioners face? One of the main uh, main problems in, uh, let us say, for let us take for example, I'm from the Ayurveda side, so I would, and, and the uh, World Ayurveda Congress is also going on. Right. So, I would like to speak about Ayurveda. Uh, you know, um, one of the main things that happens with Ayurvedic drugs is supposed to be, they are supposed to be poisonous because they contain heavy metals. That is one of the things which people say. Mm -hmm. But in actual terms, when we look at the, we, we, there are several studies which have been taken up by IIT, Kharagpur and you know, different organizations, scientific mm -hmm. organizations, uh, Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and all, which had proven that when prepared in the right manner, when as Ayurveda says, it's how it is to be, the, these materials act as uh, act as you know, kind of a catalyst in the body. They do not stay back in the body. They do not get deposited in the liver or you know in the kidney and do not damage them. And they are moving out. This is something which has been proven through animal studies and you know several kinds of studies which accept which are accepted by the modern medicine. But when when you look at only the chemical formula of the drug, you say that okay, this contains mercury, or this contains lead, this contains mm. gold. Then suddenly you get fear. You know, you, you really get a fear because you think that okay, I'm taking mercury and Poisonous. it's going to be in. But it is not mercury that you are taking. It is a different variety or a different structure of mercury, which has been potentiated with herbs, which has been you know managed with herbs, 
which is which you are taking so there is a very big difference between taking mercury as such from a thermometer you know which uh, we are actually in the process of trying to ban everything available as mercury in in, in this uh, in, in in india but uh, the but we, you know like we cannot explain this to an allopathic person who who doesn't understand how the ayurvedic so how procedures is the, work. sorry to interrupt you there how is the how is a, a drug control system mm -hmm. as as mr harshvardhan today announced how is that control system now going to help you and and people like you who are trying to proliferate ayurveda solve this problem of you know uh, uh, what harshvardhan ji has explained we have i have not studied in detail so i, I do not know it i had heard this uh, you know his speech today but i think this is how it will help because if ayurvedic people who understands the theory of ayurveda are looking at the substance and the efficacy of it and its safety of it uh -huh. and then simultaneously there is a group of people uh, under this group you know under the regulatory environment who will look at its safety from the uh, the modern pharmaceutical way and you know you know a drug is safe in modern pharmaceutical way but it is effective from the ayurvedic point of view the okay. efficacy we are not able to make them understand so you saying that, say that you saying that proper regulations proper mechanisms uh, which are put in place they will recognize uh, yes. the particular medicine they'll yes. recognize the components yes. they're going to give their stamp on it yes. say that this is safe yes. so the public today can also go and consume that yes. and all sorts of let's say propaganda about those ayurvedic medicines that mercury it has this or that that can be washed away it yeah. it 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 is it is a truth that they contain mercury or heavy metals but the what is the point what i was trying to convey was not poisonous they are the not body. poisonous because mm. if they are prepared in the right manner they are not poisonous they mm. are actually they are actually you know in in nanoparticle size and they that's, go in they work as a catalyst and trigger that, that's very mechanisms interesting in the also body. and yes. and also you know uh, dr geeta our prime minister has also stressed so much yes, on reviving yes. this ancient ayurveda yes. uh, you know the whole system the homeopathy ayurveda yes, yes. so so much attached to the culture of india isn't in fact it? in fact the kind of support we had got within the past 4 months after this government came in uh, it was tremendous you know like uh, like today the minister uh, uh, minister you know like uh, proclaimed about the national ayush mission ayush is in. also there right like, absolutely it, it, and it's, it's there a part huge, of the government huge huge support and and you know the the way in with the 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 functional uh, aspects of the government will try to implement ayurveda or similar s systems of medicine in the in the society will increase because i think what he announced today was a five fold increase in a, in, in the plan you know uh, expenditure that is Ooh, from 1000 crores expected. last okay. year it was okay. now he has increased it to 5000 crores that is a huge support and and, okay. and that shows the commitment of of the government towards you know supporting this and, and we are very happy about that all yes. right and dr Kriya, geeta krishnan there thank you so much uh, you. for coming to the studio thank sharing you. us your views and let's hope that uh, ancient systems like ayurveda etc you know really close to the country's cultural heritage also they get a boost and yeah become very much popular with the people i think yeah. popularity is very important yeah. as well and and that's why do, we are doing this arogya exhibition doing the arogya right exhibition yeah. absolutely thank you so much thank for you so much. Thank coming you. to the studio with that we had for a very short commercial break but don't go away we're going to be back in a short while